sealed tight. No way to open this. Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. So in this episode we are gonna take a look of new roadmap for Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Also we are gonna go through every single location for artifacts from the last tombs. So all three artifacts that are available at the moment before the update. Also I'm going to show you the two last tombs that should be in England. So let's go. Starting with the roadmap. Next Tuesday we are getting update 1.6.1 with the tombs of the fallen part 2 rune forge and october 20th to november 10th we are gonna get the oscaria 2.0 hopefully that won't be a broken mess what comes to the tombs we already have the map in the first tomb that is right across of ravenstorp as you can see in the video the craters on the map are actually the locations of the tombs there should be two more on the map after the update 1.6.1 on the Vesix area aka the southern part of the map. Also across of this stone map we have this door or whatever on the floor in the first tomb. And I think we can open it after using all of the artifacts on it. And I actually think we are getting two more artifacts from the two tombs in order to open this. And this floor thing let me know in the comments down below. It is time to show you guys where are the three artifacts the first one let's open the tomb and this is the casivellanus tomb it doesn't matter in which order you are gonna do this so totally your choice but casivellanus tomb after completing everything meaning seeing the cutscene opening the chest aka the big reward from each tomb and yes this applies to every single tomb before you can get the artifact you need to complete the whole thing and after that you can get the hidden stuff aka the artifacts. Alright we have completed this one. So from the chest just run past it to the cave. Just follow my lead and see you at the artifact. So we are getting ancient words, we are getting the artifacts and I believe those are opening the floors after placing the artifacts for example into the map that is in the first cave saying these words will open a staircase or an, or an elevator. Let's keep moving into the next tomb. The next tomb will be Venutius tomb and just like in the last one complete the whole thing get the reward after that let's keep moving towards the artifact. Also at this point I really would appreciate a like for this video. So perhaps more people can get this information much easier. If you do like the video, thank you. Just like in the previous tomb, get the reward. After that, let's keep moving. This icy cave, aka the Venutius tomb. Well, this is much easier than the last one. After taking the lift and going all the way up, we are gonna see a mammoth. At the left from the skull, there will be a small ice wall, break it, go inside and again, we are speaking quote unquote nonsense. There will be also an artifact with couple letters. So let's go.
another one. Look to us. Again, I'm speaking nonsense. So, we spoke nonsense, we got the artifact, so let's keep moving to the last tomb. Well, last tomb before the new tombs and before the update 1.6.1. .1. So, let's go. Here, everything is pretty much the same. Complete the puzzle, see the cutscene, loot the reward. After that, another artifact. And this location, well, this tomb is called Purika's tomb. So, let's solve the Purika's tomb. Let's see the only cutscene that I'm gonna show you. So, without spoiling too much, let's go. Who disturbs my senses long slumber? I well deserve this rest. When my husband, chief of the Iceni, died, the Romans broke their promise to us. They took our lands, cattle, crops, our horses, and boats. They defiled my daughters, then me. As I am a fiery temper, with my husband's sword, I hacked through their legions. I burned their camps, Colchester, London, Albanes, desecrated Roman tombs, let flow rivers of Roman blood. But there were too many. Defeated, I drank poison rather than give myself to their sweaty hands. I am Boudicca. After seeing Pudicas cutscene, looting the two chests in this one, this can be more miserable than the two previous ones. What you need to do, you need to find a couple crates on the floor, break them, go under, and there, small path, end of the path, we are getting the artifact and speaking nonsense once again. If you haven't started the tombs yet, now it is the perfect time to do so. Only thing you need to do is start your settlement in Ravenstorp. After that there should be a bunch of people at the shore. You will see this cutscene at every tomb or every Odin rune. There should be vortex just like this when you are using your raven. Like I said earlier, you are having the map in the first tomb. Also we are having the floor that I think we can open after completing the next two tombs. After the update of course. Let's see what is gonna happen, I will keep you updated. If you need any help for the tombs, I will leave everything I have in the description box and even some of the videos that are most helpful in the pinned comment. But this floor, I think it is gonna be opened after this update and the new tombs, they are also having these Odin runes and after the update there will be interact pattern and the tombs inside will be revealed after interacting and also just like in the last ones, after entering the tombs, we are gonna see the cutscene when the main area starts. Solve the puzzle, see the cutscene, get the rewards. And speaking about the rewards, I really think, based on the images that have been released already, we are seeing two new weapons. So two tombs, two weapons. And what is hidden underneath the floor? Well, that is only the guessing game. But the images? Well, we are seeing the sickle. Also, I think it will be a spear. As we can see in the images, let's take a closer look. So, the handle part of the spear and also that red glowing sickle. So, let's see, let's see what is gonna happen. But the first tomb that is still closed, it is right underneath the Ufentune. So, from here, well, let's take a look of the location. And if you already have done the four previous tombs, well, Tuesday, just come here right away. If you need, look out for the Vortex with Raven. And boom, there should be glowing Odin rune. So let's take a look and after that let's move on.
Last Odin Rune slash Last Tomb in England will be in Wessex in Sussex at the shoreline. So here on the map. And let's take a closer look of the tomb. And fun fact, we actually were able to explore this cave. Well, little bit of it, like ages ago, like one year ago or so. But here is the last location for the last tomb. For now, I really want to thank my channel members, aka the Elite Wolfpack. If you want to become a part of the elites and join the channel, there's a button below this video. Doing so, you will get some custom perks, like custom emojis, early access to some of my videos, just like this one. But for now, let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like. Hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong. Hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up and bye bye.